Thanks for watching Master Jax. Uh, on this 2008 Toyota RAV4, I am cleaning out the throttle body intake, the mass airflow sensor, and running some cleaner through the fuel injectors as part of a, a tune-up and 100,000 mile um, kind of maintenance procedure on this vehicle. First thing I'm doing is uh, gaining access to the throttle body area by removing uh, the plastic rubber intake plenum, going down to the throttle body from the air box and removing some of its associated hardware. This is the throttle body down here itself and uh, on the back side of the engine and I'm just using some whatever pliers are convenient to release this clamp and uh, pull off this um, rubber boot plenum from the throttle body. Once I get that off I'll be able to uh, get some air intake cleaner. Uh, spray and intake cleaner just from the parts store down there into the throttle body area. You can see a pretty good buildup of grime already on this throttle plate here. This will help maintain a smooth idle and prevent um, future uh, check engine lights from uh, erratic or RPM that's out of range. Uh, so cleaning that up real good. Um, don't be afraid to go ahead and open up the valve with your fingers there. You're overriding a little electric motor. And then I'm scrubbing the body and the plate and spraying um, all around in there to, to clean it up as good as I can. Lastly, using a little bit of a rag here to, to clean up what I could. not Just making sure that looks real clean and new again. And then uh, to clean the mass airflow sensor, I'm just going to take apart the air box a little bit more here. Remove the filter so I don't drop any... Uh, or I don't drip any fluid from the cleaner on it. And then you want to use a mass airflow sensor safe uh, cleaner, specifically mass airflow sensor cleaner here, uh, also from the parts store. And then that metal element towards the top there is, is the thing that we want to get the dirt and the grime off of. So just lightly spray it, don't scrub it, don't damage it. Um, and then it's a reassembly after this. I'm not a big fan of uh, these compression clamps, probably because I don't have the correct tool and pliers to do them, but I was able to lock the um, clamp open in its open position so that I could get it easily over the throttle body again, and then here I'm releasing the screwdriver. And then just hooking everything back up where it goes, lining up things with their correct tabs and places, and putting hoses back in. Here I'm uh, reinstalling the resonator, or it's basically a, a muffler for the air intake system to reduce uh, the sucking noise of the air drying in the engine drying in air. The next thing that I'm going to do after this is uh, start it up and get the grime out of there that I just cleaned up, as well as that liquid cleaner that's sitting now inside the uh, intake. Uh, so I've got to use a little bit of throttle uh, to open up that airway and. Uh, get it to, to, to fire up and then it's gonna um, you're gonna notice a lot of smoke as it blows through the crud that you just cleaned up as well as the um, the, the fluid that you just added to it from the, the cleaning solvent eventually that'll clean itself out and smooth itself out um, I'm gonna run some seafoam uh, fuel system cleaner uh, into the tank. I have a full tank of gas, so according to the directions on the bottle, uh, for me, that ended up being a full bottle of seafoam for a full gas tank. And this is going to work its way through the fuel system and into the fuel injectors themselves for cleaning and lubricating of the fuel injectors. Here you see me identifying uh, an uh, intake manifold port that's just right below the throttle body uh, and goes up to this little actuator here, whatever it is up on the uh, intake plenum. But uh, So I've gained access to that. have my wife hold my RPMs at about 2,500 um, while I run this cleaning service through it. Again, some sea foam um, engine cleaner here. And uh, she's going to maintain RPM, and I'm just going to dribble a little bit of this in. This will get atomized backside of that throttle body and go into the intake plenum where it'll uh, clean up uh, intake and exhaust valves in the plenum itself. And now I'm just going to put it back on, sliding up the clamp here, hooking it back up to where it went, 
And that wraps up this uh, fuel and air intake system service on this 2008 RAV4. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.